what if you could replace three, four, even five plugins by only one plugin, a truly Swiss knife. I call this new generation of plugins all-in-one plugin. So if you have a plugin to duplicate page, if you have a plugin to do your SMTP setup, if you have a plugin for reordering uh, some of your posts, if you have plugins to disable XML RPC, or if you have any kind of plugins, but you have, you have to stack at least uh, four, five, six plugins into your website, even though these plugins are only made for one feature well this kind of new generation of plugins is for you the first one I'm going to show is admin and site enhancements it's a very very useful one and you have tons of features inside this one so uh, we're going to focus on this plugin but you have another one which is called WP extended and this one is also interesting so you have uh, right here the ultimate WordPress toolkit. So we'll take a look at this one also. So let me activate the first one, admin and site enhancement, and you will have a hidden menu right here, enhancement, and you have tons of features right into one single plugin. So really it's a Swiss knife. Uh, so the first tab is content management and you have the content duplication. So this is typically a feature that you need uh, very often and you have to install a specific plugin for that. So now you don't, uh, you can just install this plugin and delay the old one made only for duplication. So uh, each time you want to turn off a feature, you have to click on save change here. Then you have content order. So if I expand here, you can apply this feature to page. So let's go into page and see the first two features. So you can duplicate your page. And in order, if I want to bring a sample page like this, and I go back to all pages, I will have sample page at first. So you can reorder your content. And you have many features I really like into this plugin. For instance, I'm going to jump straight to the features I want. Uh, SVG upload is very handy. You can upload indeed SVG into your WordPress website. You are able to upload all external links in a new tab. So it's more useful this way to have one toggle here and to be able to cope with that everywhere across your website. Uh, save change, I want to go into admin interface so you can hide admin noticed. You can wider the admin menu. So if I show you an example, uh, I can give you a bigger, a lot bigger, uh, like this, you see? So <laughs> obviously it's not the, uh, the way you want to set this feature, but just to show you that you can wider the admin menu. You can uh, organize also differently your menu and maybe you can hide until toggle. So if I show you, for instance, uh, the appearance, hide until toggle, save change. So now you have to click on show all here and then you will display more menus, the menus you checked as hide until toggled. So I think it could be a useful feature. You can also disable dashboard widgets. So all the widgets that are useless into the dashboard, you can disable all of them by clicking on all the widgets. You can also clean up the admin bar, which is a feature I really like. So you can remove the WordPress logo and you can remove the command counter. So it's this menu. Uh, you can remove new content menu. It's uh, the new menu here. I never use it. So I recommend you to do the same. Remove the howdy right here and remove the help type drawer. So if I click on save change, I will have a lot cleaner admin bar. Sometimes you also need to hide the admin bar for a specific user role in WordPress. For instance, some of your clients or some of your members or students. If out of the box, you don't have uh, the admin bar hidden, uh, you can use this feature as well. So you can save change. Then you have all kinds of redirection, uh, redirect after login, redirect after logout. You also have a login logout menu. So you will have more features into your menu, appearance menu. You will be able to display specific items of your menu depending on if the user is logged in or logged out. And you can change your login menu. So this URL, uh, WP login, you can replace this URL by a new one, for instance, connection or login. This kind of features comes with security plugins usually, but you have them all right here, save chance. Um, then you have the custom code tab. So you can uh, add some custom code, some CSS, admin, front end, you can insert code into the 
head or body uh, you can also uh, manage your robot.txt so it can be very useful if you're a more advanced user you can disable components here so if you want to work with a page builder and you don't use blocks you don't use gutenbergs you can come here and disable Gutenberg. So you can have some gains in terms of performance if you disable what you don't use. So you can disable comments, you can disable Gutenberg, you can disable all block-based widgets, um, you can disable REST API if you don't use the API and you don't want people to be able to access, you can disable all your RSS feeds, all automatic updates also here and you can disable smaller components so this is more advanced but it's really tiny details that make uh, that squeeze performance out of your wordpress website so why not using them you just need to learn each of them what it is about obviously so save change then on the security tab you have very basic features in regard to security so you can disable xml rpc which most websites need to to do unless you have a very very outdated website and wordpress core itself uh, but obviously i think most of my viewers would need to disable xml rpc you can you can limit login attempts you have the default configuration which is fine uh, i also click on save change and then we have two more tabs optimization so it's about optimization for your performance you can dismiss this notice like revision control for instance you can limit the number of revision so you don't have a bloated database so uh, you can just leave it the default configuration leave it as it is uh, same uh, 10 is good uh, you have the health bit control which is also for performance if you want to have more gains uh, like i said to really squeeze every gains possible of performance and you have utilities which are also very very useful because first you have its mtp uh, so you can remove your smtp plugin and use the smtp provided here so very basic but it works you can have multiple user world for one account so it can be very interesting very useful uh, you have the password protection for the whole website. You can set a password. So for webmaster, for freelancer, it can be very useful also because you can send the website to your client and then you can send a password, but you can protect all your work. So I think should be very useful for freelancers as well as maintenance mode. So it's a maintenance mode if you want to have a <laughs> maintenance mode and redirect 404 to home page i don't think it's a, a very clever uh, feature to turn on because usually if you have a 404 you want people to know that uh, it's a 404 and then you give them some options like you can go to the home page or you can go some other place but uh, basically the page you're looking for doesn't exist and if you redirect people automatically people will be maybe kind of lost you know so they, they won't understand so i think you shouldn't turn on this plug this feature save change but there is obviously no change to save and that's it for the admin and site enhancement so then you have another one which is uh, wp extended so it's another all-in-one plugin it's not there is there are no as many features as you have in admin and site enhancement but you have a few of them that are really interesting so if i can show you very quickly uh, you have the opportunity to export post page user so uh, if you need this kind of feature maybe extended will more suit your needs you can duplicate page and paste page and post sorry uh, obviously and you can reorder your content as well insert headers and footer snippets tidy nav so it's just for you the ability to uh, display or not different items in the menu depending of the user role you have into this WordPress website you have uh, the ability to clean some profiles so by cleaning they mean that you can just turn off a few of the settings you have into the uh, users into the profiles within WordPress that are not useful I can show you up I refresh then we have a new menu here, new and try, clean profile, and you can hide some options. So like biographical info, um, admin color scheme. So it's not uh, massively useful, but it can, it can be quite handy. And then you have the ability to upload SVG file again, or disable Gutenberg editor, editor, which is a very good idea if you work with Elementor or, or DV, for instance. You can hide the admin bar for specific user role. You have a maintenance mode. You can limit, again, logging attempts. And in the pro version, 
uh, you will have more options especially this one i think it's a very good idea to have user switching built in uh, all in one plugin so user switching is a good one for me smtp mail setup but we have we have it in the free version of the other one and you have also plugin and theme rollback which is in my opinion also a very very good feature to have in the all-in-one plugin so what do you think overall of this new trend of all-in-one plugins obviously it has existed before but right now i think it's very trendy it's all the rage so i think it should be the default kind of plugin you should have in your collections to build from scratch new wordpress websites let me know in the comment section what you think if you will install one of them and i will talk to you in another wordpress video don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more if you seek simplicity in wordpress well i'm the right channel so do not hesitate to subscribe if you have any comments to do please use the comment section like the video if you want to help me uh, to do more tutorial and I will see you in the next video. Bye!